Former President APJ Abdul Kalam said, unless India stands up to the world, no one will respect us. In this world, fear has no place. Only strength respects strength. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to our fifth episode, Natural Civilization at Natural TV. Today, you are watching our episode on India. The world's largest democratic country, the diversified cultural country in the world. Today we will talk the India's political development, India's socio-political economy, India's culture, especially of course Bollywood, and India's economy, India's society and socio-economic model. As you see, today we have a three scholar with us to talk on India. From my side, you see this uh, with me, Mr. Mohammed Sajid Khan. He's coming from the Southeast, uh, Southeast India, the West Bengal. Uh, welcome to our program, Mr. Thanks, Sajid Khan. Thanks, and I want to add something that Mr. Sajid Khan, he is doing a PhD and PhD scholar. He's focusing on a PhD on refugee integration, I mean the Syrian refugee integration in Turkey. And uh, we have uh, the Central India, we have a very special guest, uh, and he was also a research scholar, Jisan Malik, and he's, he's coming from the capital city of India. Welcome to our program. Thanks. As we know that you're also focusing on investment policy, green investment. Yes and uh, focusing on Indian economic growth, yes. those things. And you are doing your PhD in uh, Yildirim Bayezid University yes. in Ankara. Yeah. Welcome to our program. Thank you so and much. And we have a much more special, I mean, who will talk on the Indian culture, the very rich culture in the world, especially if we look to from the Bollywood, like uh, the rich culture in the world, and uh, the, um, the lady, uh, the Kanika Waliya, she will talk about this issue. Welcome to our program, Thank Natural so Civilization. Much. I want to add something about Kanika Waliya. Uh, she is also a PhD scholar and focusing her PhD on Bollywood uh, and Indian cinema, uh, doing PhD in Gazi University. Okay. So, welcome to our program. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, today, uh, as we say already, that we'll talk about the Indians' uh, democracy, Indian culture, Indian economy, Indian politics, Indian civilization, and historical roots. So, uh, like, the whole thing is really very vast. India itself is a really big country in the world, and they have uh, so many impacts. But I want to add something the Indian impacts. It comes to the world uh, after the, uh, especially in 21st century, like yeah. what the world said, the uh, rise of Asia or rise of India, especially from yeah. the Asian side, because we see that the global world order is changing from West, it's moving to the Asia. Yeah. And the, for this reason, India, to know India is giving much more importance to the people, to the world. Uh, I, even I, I believe that our audience are much that, more interested. That's why we are uh, the largest democracy in the world. It, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. And I think our audience also, they are very much interested uh, to know this, the actual words there. Uh, what makes an, actually India great? We can say like uh, what Donald Trump said there, make India great again. Great again. And I believe like today's uh, program, you will make your <laughs> country great again. Uh, like uh, before uh, to talk on the different parts, I just want to ask to uh, our PhD uh, research scholar, um, Mr. Jishan Malik, uh, to talk uh, about uh, the history and civilization roots of India. The background, like, uh, of what actually makes India to India? Exactly, you know, it's been a, a, like a centuries, like, uh, it's an extract of centuries that uh, uh, India we are now. So India is not like India in the ancient times, like when, when the Britishers didn't came, like before it was, we say that uh, India is a golden bird. So we call it golden birds like uh, in India. And for us, why it's golden bird? Uh, because like from the ancient times, uh, uh, when the Ad Adam uh, Islam, uh, the, he came to uh, Sri Lanka, then he passed all through the lo long. So that earth is so uh, like the uh, the part of the earth is so valuable. For, and from then, like uh, it came the Sanatan terms, like the uh, the uh, like the most uh, ancient uh, religion of India. 
and that is Sanatan Dham, and then it came to to Buddhism. So when uh, Sanatan disappeared, uh, disappeared, and then Buddhism came, and then uh, that Sanatan Dham came, and the territorial gods, and so uh, India is a very vast city, like uh, in a vast country. Uh, especially is because of like their its religions its its ethnicity and its people because when you look at south they they do, they cannot understand the language uh, they speak is very different they, they, can, language, yeah, they, they cannot understand uh, i think that's now in india they have uh, more than uh, how many languages 20, 20 uh, f 21st and 20 uh, uh, one language is the official language of but india more than i think the one more than regional of the 100 kilometers uh, the dialects change and uh, and moreover, the dialects, the, even the uh, intonations and the uh, pronunciations changes. So it's differ like very much. So how much we talk about, how much we tell about India, it, it will be uh, less because exactly. India is something, you know, like it's how, uh, like if you want to explore world, you have to tra travel. So it's like India, if you want to, tra uh, if you want to explore India, you have to travel. Like me, uh, uh, as an Indian, I never uh, travel like four or five straight. And because it's so big, like you don't have, uh, whether you study, whether you travel, you explore. So, so I, I think I, I travel more than you then. <laughs> <laughs> because I want but, to yeah, 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 of course, that's that's very true. Like when that's you were saying about I went to uh, ba Bengal, I so I was like, oh man, uh, uh, as an Indian, I, I never went. So like uh, when you say Me like Beng Bengali, like Bengal had a different religion, different people, different language. When you say about the North Kashmir, they are totally different, their food, their culture, religion. They are same after like after when the uh, Islam uh, Islam came to uh, uh, Kashmir, so it changes the, uh, their religion. But before it was like uh, Maharaja uh, Harish and Hari Singh, uh, uh, Hari Singh, sorry, uh, pardon. And th there was like th th other religions like they say like some says they were Parsi, they were migrated from Iran and. And uh, it's a uh, authentic like uh, uh, proofs uh, roots like they are uh, coming from. So India is very diversified. When you uh, think about the uh, east part of India, like west part of India, some they say like they are mix of, of China, uh, Chinese, and and then uh, that you know uh, uh, like Bang uh, Bang uh, Bengali, that Bengal tigers, and also the Sindh. They say like it's a totally different. It's a desert. Mm -hmm. So like every uh, part of India, it has its unique identity. So for that, uh, it's very different. In point of religion, India is like uh, full of uh, like uh, religions. Like you will find uh, like uh, Hinduism, Christianity, Islam, and Buddhism. Uh, also Buddhism, and uh, those who uh, pray for fires and those who li like they are like th there are uh, also many like those who do, who don't believe. Like for us, they say like don't believe, but it's also their religions. Like they have and in so and also like Tamil Nadu uh, uh, these days. Like recently, they found a village like uh, the South, the, uh, South uh, Indian uh, part, Tamil yeah, Nadu, uh, Aru, uh, Ar uh, Aruvela, uh, village, uh, Aruvali village, and they say like there. It was, you know, like uh, uh, life is free. Like you, you, everybody is equal. It's like a, a state of uh, one of the philosophers, Plato, a Plato state, it's a state, which uh, you will like. Everybody is equal, and the pay scale is equal. So uh, from that point of view, in the India is like something uh, totally uh, different like, and unique. Uh, if you want uh, to kindly include something like the civilization and rules i mean like that you know this india yeah. they have uh, so many temple i mean that's uh, like yeah. if it's uh, if yeah. we mention about the the uh, biggest like, uh, the temp golden Somnath. temple gurudwara mm -hmm. or like mm -hmm. in india hinduism temples or yeah. even also from the mughal empire the muslim uh, yeah. mosque or like the territory you mentioned about something like yeah, those kind you, of as you told me about like as you said about temples the, the one of the biggest temple of india like uh, till now like they say somnath was the biggest temple and it has the the like Oldest the most temple. highest treasures found in the world like it's still now in Kar karnataka and then south part like the temple is like the they had the uh, treasure like uh, even like i i if i'm not wrong sarit like uh, do you remember that news like when they uh, 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 what temple found the treasure and they said like it will cover like if the treasure will given uh, to the uh, economy like to the uh, state uh, for the almost 15 years there is no need to pay taxes so see that amount of like uh, because we are two generous people especially the Indians we uh, donate to our gods and to our wills like Okay. We, that's why we said like we are the uh, birds of gold like we say we are yeah, the golden, golden bird, bird. 
India is a golden age. But uh, like for example, from Indian side, like the history is very diverse, but also not only their language, rich culture, or those. For example, India when we are starting on India, we yeah. see the pre-partition and the after partition. Like the pre-partition is really this India's history is said that more than three thousand years 3, 000, history. Yeah. I mean, Hindu civilization. That's, yeah. that's what the uh, academic or yeah. just mm-hmm. said. Uh, so could you want, uh, mention something like the before the partition of India? Like yeah. uh, the uh, you already mentioned about Sanatan. Uh, the yeah, that background. was a religious mm-hmm. point of view. And if you are asking about the Indian uh, civilizations, then Mesopotamia and also uh, all of the civilizations the happened in uh, because of the Indus Valley. Indus Valley means there is a re- uh, the uh, river there in yeah. the, in, in this river. So uh, most of the civilizations happened near to the uh, near to that regions and. Uh, like uh, there were uh, many, uh, uh, you know. Of course, the the Indus civilization started uh-huh. first, and then after Harappan civilization, uh-huh. there are Aravali, you know, because yeah. the name India is somehow related to the river Indus, India. which is yes. which is flowing from the n- northern part to the uh, uh, southern part, you know. Yeah. And uh, if you talk about the Indian civilization, Indian civilization is five thousand years back, you know, and uh, and you know by the time there were so many people who attacked India. And they were from different parts of the world. They were from belonging to a different religion. So when they interacted with Indians people, they started uh, making influence on them. And this is this is the reason that India has multicultural. You know, India has diverse culture. Even if you will see, uh, we have more temples than Turkey itself. We have in the in, in the world. You know, we yeah, have one of the yeah, uh, one of the most, in the most world, oldest. Yeah, yeah but, but Islam was not yeah. not born in India. So you will see. Uh, even even yeah. though uh, India is the second largest population, population in yeah, the Muslims, world, yeah. after yeah. Indonesia. So, yeah. after and China, even if you will see Indonesia, sorry, yeah. after uh, Indonesia, yeah, Indonesia. Muslims, yeah. Muslims, yeah. 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 Even if you will see, most of the uh, world's major religions are born in India. You know, be it Hinduism, be it Sikhism, be it uh, yeah, Jainism, the, you know, yeah. Buddhism. Most of the religions are born. Apart from that, India is highly populous with Muslim people. Yeah. So, so it said uh, altogether, India is a very different nation. You know, you cannot, as Zishan said, you cannot just explain India. You have to go and explore India. You have yeah. to go and see India. Yeah. That is more important. Yeah, we also welcome to our yeah. audience, like to go to India. Actually, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. important to tell. Everyone's are going to yeah. India yeah. Yeah. and explore India. Even, so you know, if you will, if if you will talk about me, we, we two people may have no uh, connections altogether because he's belonging from the southern part. Yeah, I'm exactly. That's what we already part. said. The I south, speak, west, yeah. and so also we have central. Total, even if we will see the face color, you know, it's totally different <laughs> from all three of us, you know. so Even the structure of our body is <laughs> body different. <laughs> like, <laughs> because it's, of the weather, like from yeah, the north part is too cold. Yeah. Yeah. So the most important thing is... Uh, we are living in unity you know that's the most important like diversity but there is unity you know that's the most important thing for indians there you know, is well. brotherhood in yeah. all the religions mm-hmm. there is uh, universe diversity and uh, democracy india is very big actually that's what actually like the world uh, world try to show to the world it, yeah. uh, to the to the politics and the economy whatever is talking the first things like use about India in this diversified yeah, country yeah. whatever is secularism mm-hmm. the democracy uh, the languages I mean the for rich culture we uh, we understand those things but the current uh, like uh, as mm-hmm. I say the 21st century the India's development the rise of India or yeah. like the Indians fact India is a factual context for so many f- uh, issue like f- for this you know, I want to ask to uh, mm-hmm. Mr. Uh, Sajid about this issue like why do you think this India really matter for uh, uh, like economically, militarily, culturally. I mean, it's really a very broad question. Mm-hmm. But if you want to make mm-hmm. a precise mm-hmm. it, like actually, really, why India is matter mm-hmm. to the world politics? First of all, uh, in the beginning, you must have said like the, the power is shifting from west to east now. And if you will see in the east, in Asia, there are only two major countries. One is China, another one is India. You know, and if you will see the history of India, you know. India has always been a rich country, you know, before colonization, as Shan said, India was a, you know, uh, um, a bird of gold, you know. But yeah, after colonization, after the independence, India started to move on, you know, we have one of the finest Mm -hmm. institute of technologies, you know, IITs, we have one of the best uh, medical colleges, AIMS. Uh, Even though we have uh, the most developed uh, softwares, like developers, like the Indian engineers, especially in computer science. Especially uh, in the field of technology, we are uh, uh, too much developed. And you said like uh, like previously, like he asked uh, Mm -hmm. about uh, that pre and post uh, colonizations of Mm -hmm. uh, what India is like why we are emerging now you know like uh, when the uh, uh, Brit- britishers was there like they just took all of the even uh, india at that time uh, was a uh, most like uh, 
uh, exporter of the textile yeah. like uh, indian yeah, textile yeah. was very really famous the country and, i think and, yeah. and, 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 and I, i think that's the, the whole area emerged because of one of the factors is textile, textile. Yeah. like india mm-hmm. no. like bangladesh because of I the mean, richness Sri Lanka, of uh, Pakistan, that soil the china mm-hmm. yeah. the whole area yeah, like india you, is the, i think the boss country i think no, in this area if you not like because of boss country it's because of the uh, like the yeah. geopolitical yeah. situations Geopolitic like situation, the yeah. positions because we uh, uh, in the, uh, that uh, south part like the soil is very, uh, very rich and they are yeah. tropic, uh, tropically uh, like rich you can grow anything and it's also the population Uh, like we have the manual like the bio you know uh, robot we have too much like our populations is like exploding so we can use so, that yeah this is what mm-hmm. i, I wanted that that's, that's why that's why like is yeah. too much former president like uh, uh, apj abdul kalam he said like we india should actually yeah. develop their own model yeah. Yeah. and that's the what actually india is uh, showing exactly. to the world yeah the like, thing is the thing is here like uh, unlike china we don't consider our population as a burden on ourselves yeah. we consider them as a human resource you know so for indians like if everybody all the indians like the only problem is that we are uh, very behind in literacy rate you know like uh, if you will see even the colonial age you know we were that we were producing 27% of the global gdp It's but yeah but these britishers they came to india they looted they did so many things and then it it reduces to 3% you know i just so, want to add one yeah. more thing i mean maybe three mm. or um, may, you can contribute mm. on this question uh the last couple of years or like i don't know exact the time the mit they or uh, the, from there there is a one research article it shows mm. the mm. how uh the pre colony that we mean like british they came and looted the whole our area mm-hmm. like the in indian subcontinent, subcontinent yeah. and that's looted even the like area and in that time that's a bengal for mm-hmm. example yeah, the whole it was a big it famine. was a third third 1920s it was mm-hmm. a big famine you know and most of the people died but before famine i mean like before british it was a third gdp i mean like yeah, third yeah. richest yeah, yeah. in the world that's what you yeah, always yeah. mean and also about like yeah. 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 Tharur, you have you read about also about said uh, about this he like seriously literally explain from a pen to pen like yeah. that was a clear you know a mass like you when you uh, 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 read his book like you will yeah, understand exactly. yeah, that is what, like what he happened, really he what had always exposed the real we would, we would like, also yeah. like to How recommend the, you know this uh, british people yeah. looted the indian subcontinent yeah. we would like to recommend mm-hmm. the viewers to read the books of the era of darkness which is written by yeah, shashi yeah, yeah. yeah. you will they will find it how as uh, indian subcontinent and especially india it's pakistan not about bangladesh indian subcontinent will, yeah. it's about the brutality of the britishers British, like yeah. how they did and now they are you know they are the most civilized uh, civilized <laughs> people in the, uh, on the earth this like is this one article even also it published uh, the is it bbc or like independent from british even uh, they said like uh, this uh, if british want to give a money like how much they looted from the indian subcontinent almost 45 trillion dollar yeah. yeah like no everything is it's like left it's on gone, past some, something so is going like, you know just even to <laughs> make a peaceful world we yeah. have to like yeah. conclude that things like we have to forget we have to focus on uh, yeah. economy as you told like india what's the post uh, like effect or maybe we can say effect mm-hmm. like after uh, like uh, you know like independence india struggled too much like uh, because we we had a war at uh, uh, like 52 like we had a, uh, like war with pakistan even uh, during the independence like the, uh, at the independence yeah, century we, yeah. we, ha- we went 65 and, and like uh, 85 and, and there are many wars like that was like Like recognized by the United Nations, the war. But like, it's still now we are f- facing uh, like terrorism from a uh, uh, like from our neighbors. Like, especially we are countering. We are countering by the uh, like uh, uh, by our softness, uh, softness as Gandhi say, non-violence. Uh, uh, you know, non-violence like more uh, that uh, culture. So we we are defending our nations like. moreover we are developing like we are create creating jobs to uh, to to every persons like we are creating we are trying to develop the uh, the biggest and the largest uh, economy in the world and even uh, india is now 2.79 trillion like these days like gdp of india is a uh, third highest so if yeah. you look at the like uh, the economic performance uh, performance of india india is doing doing very good but like it depend on like how you are seeing to us like most of the time like uh, they say like china is defeating india we are not we are competing each other we are neighbors yeah. we are like uh, as sajid said like the power is shifting from uh, east to west west, west to, to asia, east yeah. 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 so like that's the reason like we are not like we are not against uh, uh, pakistan we are not against uh, china. china we are not against russia we are we are friends yeah. 
India is the only country like who are friends with uh, like uh, all of the uh, countries. This is what you know the diplomacy is. You know India is maintaining its own diplomacy. That what every country is doing. You yeah. know we are doing our own diplomacy. We do not have any. Uh, you know in some social media they the Indians also try to say that don't use Chinese products. But this is this is nothing. You know Chinese are using their own diplomacy. We are using our own diplomacy. Yeah. You know? And I think uh, that the you know uh, the these days you know the only thing which can we do we have to maintain our diplomacy you know in politics nobody is a permanent friend nobody is a permanent enemy exactly you know? that's so the foreign we, policy we, yeah this is the foreign mm -hmm. policy so well, let's say about yeah. like like as you say foreign policy <laughs> Bollywood is the biggest yeah. foreign policy for yeah, this, us like this, we, so we, we have, have our own strategies our own power yeah. and the culture yeah. or like our uh, new cultures like we mm -hmm. uh, we are distributing love we are just yeah. spreading yeah. love to any, uh, so, everybody like. Yeah. So Bollywood and also the like our cultural uh, like differences like even our dresses, even our, own even soft our powers, food, you know, like so. that is even uh, it might look spicy to you, but it will give something like it will remove yeah. all your negative and stress. If you do yoga, look, United Nations celebrated yoga, the International Day of Yoga. That's what that's what actually we'll go to talk like the Indians, uh, the uh, soft power, mm -hmm. like because this is a terminology in yeah. academically mm -hmm. and the literature uh -huh. they say it, like the what India is doing after US say this is one of the best and the recognize mm -hmm. power mm -hmm. to the world mm -hmm. like uh, if you if we see that the Indian uh, especially the embassies yeah. in the whole mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. they are now practicing like yoga day yoga to day? the yeah. world wide they are doing I mean spread out it's normal it's not important even Indian officials that public mm -hmm. diplomacy mm -hmm. to spread the world uh, out the world uh, world to the Indian culture it's automatically watered through the Bollywood so that in this question I just want to ask because that we have a scholar to work on this Indian Bollywood mm -hmm. uh, I want to ask uh, Miss uh, okay can you Wally about these things. Like, how do you see this? Uh, the Indian cinema and the Indian Bollywood industry working to the world. Actually, Bollywood is whole. I will start. What is Bollywood actually? Mm -hmm. Bollywood is what what is not uh, only uh, what you say a combination taken from Hollywood, uh, Bombay and Wood is combined which is Bollywood and uh, this is only Hindi Bombay cinema. Bombay was the chapter previous name yeah, of the, yeah, yeah, the Mumbai. Mumbai. Yeah, Mumbai. Bombay. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was the only Hindi film industry. We have Telugu also, we have Tamil also, we have Bengali also. Like we for have example, Marathi if you ask me, also. I really, I, I, I yeah. appreciate actually a South Indian film than yeah. Bollywood. I like yeah. South Indian. <laughs> I'm <laughs> a very fan of South Indian film. Yeah, they do much of action movies, but Bollywood is famous of their like Khans, Kapoor's exactly, and yeah. uh, uh, all the people who were like working for Bollywood for like uh, promoting uh, our Indian culture promoting our Indian dresses India is only known with Bollywood and dances like we dance a lot everybody <laughs> says the same thing that we have so much songs and dances in Bollywood so uh, Bollywood is promoting itself like all the Kapoor's and Khan's and uh, all the people just promoting the culture of India, like dresses. I, mean, the, I think the last year is it uh, that the Amir Khan he went, uh, came? Yeah, yeah, he, he came. came and, uh, he was, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody was like just uh, <laughs> rushing to <laughs> see <laughs> Amir Khan. <laughs> Amir Khan like. Yeah, they, no, they are but it's like, yeah. uh, If you will talk much. about the soft power, you know, uh, like Khanika, as Khanika mentioned, you know. Earlier we were using Bollywood as a soft power, you know, to, to put our culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, now it is, but now we are shifted slowly to the yoga diplomacy. Now we are doing yeah. yoga diplomacy even. So Bollywood at the same time uh, is promoting Indian culture and Indian, uh, uh, you know, how can say Indian, uh, how can say soft power. Indian presentation, yeah, Indian how presentation. it should to be. And like yoga is also, you know, and yoga is also uh, adding to a value to that, you know, culture and all those things. So since beginning, you know, you, if you will see these uh, Russian televisions, you know, mm -hmm. old Russian television in Turkey also, most of the people they know Raj Kapoor, they know, they, they know, they know, exactly. Chakra, but they I know. think that the, the song of Raj yeah, Kapoor, like, like Aura, uh, 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 is really is very famous. Yeah, famous. Yeah. And then uh, Mithun Chakravarti uh, song mm -hmm. Jimmy Jimmy is also very mm -hmm. famous mm -hmm. because these are the people who are like, you know. The people are following them. Like Bollywood is promoting all the culture. Like even also in we Africa, I saw yeah. like the so many Africans uh, are really, really yeah. loving Especially so much. Yeah, we have the love. Yeah. We have the, uh, 
like very big uh, uh, majority and very big community uh, uh, numbers of com- uh, people are uh, uh, Indians living there yeah they and know Hindi they know Hindi uh, exactly they, they watch Bollywood no. movies they no. you know uh, know s- our songs they know everything because mm. they uh, but, huh? yeah but because this is because of you know that in African countries if you will see there is Indian diaspora is very strong there you know yeah. if you will see in South Africa yeah. you know in the capital of South Africa Durban you know that city is called as the city of Indians yeah, yeah. because you know there are more yeah. number of Indians yeah. than the native himself when they were taken in 80s you know there so of course in, like yeah. gandhi gandhi gandhi, 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 gandhi himself yeah. 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 started from south africa yeah. yeah. so yeah that is that is why so they had yeah. a very long uh, uh, relationship, relationship with uh, historical relationship with africa, africa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah especially historically culturally and uh, like uh, uh, because we share the same thoughts same emotions because mm. we are the like the people of uh, like uh, that uh, not that high society like uh, we are not the people we of monarchy people, yeah. we, <laughs> are the we are the we are the local, local people like who uh, understand the feelings of uh, like people like like the because still now we have the uh, almost 75% of the major, majority of the people who are living like the uh, middle class So uh, like yeah even i would I want, want to, to add uh, okay i want to you add one thing uh, actually as jishan uh, said so. that uh, the Vol- african people uh, see so much of uh, bollywood films and actually they relate to our culture they mm-hmm. relate to like what kind of life people love to see what they I are mean, actually they, they understand that their they emotion yeah. their, their emotions emotion yeah. representing yeah. through the yes. bollywood yes they, bollywood they, movies they, they see our movies because they relate yeah this is me only like we saw the movie and we said yeah this is me only so they yeah, can relate to us like even also we can we can differentiate like this uh, like for example for european and the western mm-hmm. culture yeah. why they cannot appreciate this i mean they are also appreciating it's mm-hmm. true, true but the fact like the what is showing in bollywood is really hard for them because they are too much materialistic society mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and for them to understand the emotion. emotion to understand the people's love is really hard for them i yeah. think it's mm-hmm. bec- it changes from time to time like before in mm-hmm. in uh, hollywood like like uh, there was a like time when the uh, uh, when the enemies when the goons were uh, like uh, famous very famous when the uh, all of the like the uh, cowboys films uh, yeah. were very famous <laughs> and then the, the superhero came now again the same uh, pattern is repeating so but india like india when you say about india we we never created superheroes we never created goons yeah. we never created yeah. bollywood yeah. because of our of uh, our emotions like we are too much uh, connected with a uh, human to hu- human people to yeah. people yeah. we yeah. don't yeah. need yeah. to create yeah. any yeah. hypothetical yeah. conditions like especially when when uh, uh, as kanika said about like amir khan like amir khan is the one who created the most and who like uh, produced most um, uh, produce and also acted in a um, uh, film like which uh, is uh, socially uh, uh, like which is creating social awareness mm. like uh, even say about the educations like uh, dyslexia and about the like mm-hmm. many disease like uh, many children's mm-hmm. disease uh, that have uh, are going through like uh, those who are excluded from the schools I, i think like even also like, if we just only organize one program on indian yeah. movies like the best movies mm-hmm. as i can mention like the uh, the last uh, time the indians one film i mean most of the film they are focusing on social social issues yeah. like the salman no, khan amir khan even amir khan the dangal film yeah. right yeah. focus akshay kumar is also mm-hmm. focusing on the yeah, toilet economy just focus the social yeah. issues social I mean. issues and now mm-hmm. the films are only really, you know focused on uh, social issues they are now promoting that what actually society is facing so that people could relate to it mm-hmm. so yeah one thing i want like to add here like uh, as uh, Uh, as we said about african you know mm-hmm. uh, apart from all these uh, indian government is also focusing more on africa you know if you will see since the uh, prime minister narendra modi took place uh, took the office in 2014 there were more than 26 official high level visit to africa you know oh. uh, 14 out of them was prime minister himself he went to uganda he went to south africa he went to rwanda so uh, even the pre- president of india he visited to so many african countries so uh, i think the you know and and, and, and historically uh, we have good connections with africa you know That's and what all yeah so and and th- that is the reason you know indian government is focusing more on africa uh, even if you even also the there's uh, i want to mm-hmm. ma- uh, include one thing you mm-hmm. know india they have a very strong diaspora there's what yes, in talk. africa they, yeah, they, yeah. They, uh-huh. this diaspora they make and they control it through the with some international groups and organizations yeah, yeah, yeah. like ipsa you know Bricks. is there uh, and even also uh-huh. bricks bricks through, bricks through ipsa, IPSA uh-huh. i mean uh, the, uh, this kind of way like especially the ipsa i mean through ipsa mm-hmm. india is doing really great mm-hmm. yeah. because yes. the india is totally focused these things on africa yes even yeah. the south america for example <laughs> yeah 
even uh, like uh, we see that the Indian check and balance policy in that case like with China because mm -hmm. this, we know that the two giant countries coming to the world they have a contribution to the every corner of the world mm -hmm. whatever it is Africa South America to the like Europe to the East to West Europe mm -hmm. I mean they have a really diversified relations mm -hmm. it's very clear so uh, by the way, like uh, on these things, it really clearly shows that India's fact and India's uh, reality to the world. I just want to want ask one more thing to the Kanika Wali, uh, that this India's media industry. Uh, you know, this India is uh, it's showing that India is a really great country from from every fact, yeah. like economy, politics, mm -hmm. culture, or defense industry. Uh, could you please tell us, like, what has going on the Indian's media? How how they are try to show to the world their their current situation or their position to the world? Actually, um, India media and entertainment industry is first one of the you know fastest growing film industry and uh, the advertising is also our like we have million of uh, dollars we are just earning from advertising and uh, like in, uh, Indian media and entertainment is the you know uh, the most important thing in the media is now films and the uh, serial sector sector yani uh, the even in turkey i think that they have uh, one channel they're all yeah. 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 always watching yeah. the indian serials yes. indian serials are now much famous than you know uh, as compared to bollywood now it is also becoming famous like fastest growing like uh, all the TV, uh, serials are seen in turkey also i think so in yeah, africa, africa, so. africa yeah. in africa whole south yeah. asia yeah. south yeah. yeah. asia yeah. in yeah. africa like there are the uh, like the local government uh, televisions like uh, they are on every uh, may, i don't know maybe on every sunday or maybe saturday or friday yeah like once in a week they are like showing indian, indian movie, movie like the very yes, so like the very old movies, movies. So i they, know, they you, know uh, like serials. even also last week in trt the turkish national television they are watching uh, I, I, I was dangal, dangal, yeah. dangal by myself yeah. and especially yeah. like that was like in in uh, africa like uh, because we have the same uh, food cultures you know like mm -hmm. especially like in kenya mm -hmm. if when you see the food like it's the food. almost similar it's yeah like when you similar. see about the somalia when mm -hmm. you see about the uh, like south africa when you see about the like all the algerian and tunisians like we are combined like we are the colorful nations mm -hmm. Uh, even this India, they are, I mean, they're from Hindu civilization, I mean, yeah. uh, Hindu culture, especially yeah. the, uh, from the religion of Hindus, India has a really good good impact on some neighboring countries like, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, Nepal, uh, Nepal, Nepal, and, and uh, also Sri Lanka, Sri I think, Lanka. and also they have a good community in Indonesia, especially of course, Bali, in Malaysia, and also Malaysia. 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 I saw the last uh, couple of days ago, I was so on news, in India Fili, temple, Fili. one of the biggest and the biggest temple was uh, established uh, in uh, Malaysia. No. Temple. Yeah, yeah. And also like in uh, Fiji, the, the second language is Hindi. Hindi. In Mauritius, if you yeah, will say, the second language is one of the uh, one of the regional language of our country, Bhojpuri, is the second language in Mauritius, yeah. you know. Yeah. The first Prime Minister of Mauritius was an Indian. Even, uh, in Sierra you know? Leone, there, I mean, the second language is Bengali. I think, yeah. Yeah. though Bengali is yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. the yeah. largest yeah. one of the yeah. community, though yeah. there's yeah. Bangladesh, there is one country, but the largest yeah. community, Kolkata, or West Bengal, mm -hmm. talking in Bengal. And I think like uh, the uh, the main reason, like how it's growing fast, like it, it, it because of the revenue they are earning mm -hmm. like uh, like because uh, mo uh, their uh, persons of like pe uh, uh, person of uh, watching t their televisions and their uh, channels is uh, the very largest community like the group is too much like mm -hmm. they want uh, content like some uh, new content every time like related to their like personal's life so india and uh, india and especially indian media like even the news and like social media even uh, instagrams and uh, facebooks like they are creating so like even uh, there are many famous uh, personalities local uh, local uh, young uh, uh, like uh, entrepreneurs those who uh, make their self like uh, too much rich just because of uh, from the social media mm -hmm. this, this, this good point that you talk uh -huh. about the young entrepreneur or yeah. youths uh, mm -hmm. in the startup business like i want to ask them uh, sajid malik about mm -hmm. these things like how the indian youth they are contributed in the, for entrepreneurship or the social business or like uh, we can say the startup business how do you uh, see this indian youth i would like if to, to uh, i would like to start you know then uh, zishan can mm. join me first of all if you will see the elder uh, the old policies of indian government we have a department of micro economy you know mm -hmm. we have the ministry of micro and small business industries you know so uh, when prime minister narendra modi came to power he and is created by the uh, yeah. uh, even, uh, even the first, first prime, prime first prime minister of india in 1950 jawaharlal nehru but uh, 
now uh, what india has done to add more value to that uh, policy is that india is uh, india is using one scheme which is called as mudra yojana you know mudra means money so a man who a, a youth who wants to start his business or who wants to do entrepreneurship he can take loans from the government without any uh, credit without any kind of uh, trouble and it it makes them it is very easy for them to take like how can i say like 100000 Hundred thousand Indian rupees. Uh, it's very easy no to do. Yeah. Loan is and like the zero yeah, it's, percent. It's zero percent yeah, tax rate. So it's very easy to start your own business. Yeah. It. yeah, it's very easy yeah, for you develop your own technology. technology. You develop your yeah, systems, yeah, and you, you can even like uh, pupils like uh, uh, in India, like especially like now in Kerala, the villages of Kerala, mm-hmm. they are uh, they are using yeah. the online transaction yeah. system, which is like for uh, even for the village, like they are the because uh, they are the kind of orthodox pupils. Mm-hmm. Like they they uh, for them it's really hard to uh, control. Uh, that online transactions yeah. like online things yeah that's But what we like we like the digitalization we, yeah, 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 that is called like digital, digital is the yeah. slogan of uh, uh, pm pm narendra modi like make, uh, india, make, it, make india, india make it digital yeah. 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 india yeah. yeah. and also yeah. like the uh, making like india campaign is there yes. you know digital india there are so many new campaigns even uh, 2 gb uh, internet like for uh, 4 for GB. the uh, 4 gb like for per day 2 gb per day and especially for the young people like do those who are uh, going to the schools they are giving scholarships like just to promote educations mm-hmm. just to promote like india because indian uh, education ministry hrd it's very like working active. very uh, actively active. after like uh, because uh, in the previous government they did well but now they are improving more and more because uh, uh, like world is growing very fast so that's why like uh, uh, the enrollment uh, 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 per person is going high the education is going high because like Uh, uh, indian ministry and governments like they are providing scholarships yeah. like just to just you read like just go to the conventional training centers even if you training uh, yeah, if you will earn something yeah. like if you are so uh, no, you know right to education is our basic fundamental yeah, right yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is uh, i want to add hmm. something beti bachao beti badhao is also yeah. my yeah. it's, also no, it's for yeah. girls yeah. specially to mm-hmm. you know to educate them and it is very famous uh, new yeah, program save, which save, is save girls is, educate girls yeah girls right so yeah. if you yeah. talk yeah and the education uh, the education ministry has you know uh, don't take uh, fee from girl child like mm-hmm. it is uh, it is free for like 14 years yeah, of some of the states yeah it's free some of the states it's free, it's free. Okay, our girls, time actually so. is going to finish mm-hmm. almost uh, the, mm-hmm. i want to ask one one more question okay. because we will finish this after this question uh, as three of you you are the uh, turkish government mm-hmm. scholarship mm-hmm. fellow mm-hmm. and uh, it shows like you have a really good focus on like not only india also beyond the mm-hmm. india so could you please tell us that this, the turkey and indian relations especially mm-hmm. the Uh, how it can be in world uh, uh, from uh, the how, uh, like foreign policy or strategic mm-hmm. relations maybe it can be defense relations or how do you see the turkey india relations like uh, if you trip over want to say something exactly like uh, when you uh, look about the past like uh, when turkey got independence like uh, during 1938 like India was the first nations who helped, like Indian Muslim yeah, leagues, the, a party like yeah. Indian yeah. Muslim yeah. leagues. Yeah. Uh, although his uh, found uh, his founder and his president was Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Uh, uh, like uh, later on, he he became the first president of uh, Pakistan. But like uh, before that, he was th- uh, in India, that yeah. Indian yeah. subcontinent. So uh, most of the like uh, I think uh, uh, like most in Turkey, all of them they know like the Pakistan, Pakistan helped uh, uh, Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest not the Pakistan. It was the, 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 the yeah. community Miss, like. Miss, Miss, the community muslim commu- community muslims league Indian like party yeah. yeah who helped uh, uh, like not And help like it was a friendliest gesture mm-hmm. to form like because uh, uh, mohammad ali jina and ataturk they were very closed Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even Mustafa Gandhi Kamal and Atatürk was, was very close. Yeah, even Nehru and Nehru and because we had a very long relationship, like for uh, yeah. uh, even uh, before the, uh, that Ottoman uh, Empire and the we had Mughal empires. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So we are very close. Yeah. Like we 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 yeah. were like. So uh, the relation the empire to empire it was also very close. Yeah, yeah. when yeah. we look at the timeline of uh, like our relationship so it was uh, like very good. Yeah. Like but, but when the world changed like it's like, somehow it's like just going and up and down. Downs. But like these times like in the previous last 10 years India is uh, Pak- uh, Turkey is doing very good. 
uh, especially in like in manufacturing tunnels and in manufacturing uh, buildings manufacturing in constructions in uh, also in uh, ph pharmaceutical companies and also in the uh, technologies Mining and, and they are just taking engineers from from their the software engineers just mm -hmm. to make relations good okay mm -hmm. but when you say about because uh, everybody and uh, now uh, in the world everybody like after the second world war everybody is now the uh, group okay so turkey and india are the only ones like who are dealing the, at the same time with the uh, russia and also at the same time with the uh, america because turkey and india are the one who is going to buy the s40 uh, s400 yeah, from russia yeah. and, uh, and america is not, they have a common strategy i think yeah, yeah, yeah. Politics, so, so, yeah. and america is not uh, like allowing them why because like they are the uh, biggest power in uh, biggest uh, power in the in in that region like in the, because even that the strategically they are very good uh, mm -hmm. well, even also for for United Nations Security Council membership, the India today, and Turkey, today, Turkey both for countries India, yeah. they want yeah. to be the member. I mean, no, in the better power countries, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. this, yeah. the both countries mm -hmm. they are yeah. organizing and making well, so do things like to mm -hmm. be the better power countries. The out of mm -hmm. the world is greater than five. Like I mean, I saw this in India. They are also working so much. Like the world should to be greater than five. The India yeah. is one of the yeah. largest yeah. country, one of the effective. Yeah, 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 yeah. They should yeah. to be inside there. If yeah. you see so that, they, they, they uh, even they are going to like they are going to uh, now they were. Uh, no, Trump was a barrier of like they were mm -hmm. not, he, he's, he was not allowing Russia to uh, give the technology but like uh, now if we, uh, India is now uh, India relations of uh, America is so, so strong so they are going to give that technology of course yeah. later or sooner they they are going to yeah. that anything like one thing I would stuff. like mm -hmm. to add by, about India and Turkey you know India and Turkey they are both growing economies they are facing with the same yeah, situation they are having the same challenges you know and you know uh, since uh, historically yeah. just finish yeah okay. we have time is okay okay, yeah. okay so th this is what you know that if the if if we come together you know we have great potential both india and turkey if we come closer to each other you know it's uh, like hopefully you know we can we can make our country great again like as donald trump said you know <laughs> so the, uh, i mean that may make world the more more more, 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 more we are already great we can, yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> that's, that's the thing can you carry? Uh, I want to add something that India, uh, like related to cinema, I will talk because as mm -hmm. a media person, I want to talk, uh, relate, uh, relate Turkey cinema and uh, Indian, Indian cinema. So they were both born in the same time, like 1914. Mm -hmm. They there was both the cinema. Um, both yeah. cinema was at the same time. Now it is like how rich is Turkish cinema? Same as the Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So they both are mm -hmm. related to each other. Mm -hmm. Now they uh, the these films mm -hmm. are shown in India. These films are shown like uh, Turkish films are shown in India and Indian films are shown here as you know Dangal and uh, mm -hmm. all the films. So we can say that our cinema, our you know media section is also interrelated. Like our media, our news channels also are interrelated. Like Terate is very famous. Like there and uh, our channels, news channels are also uh, like adding Turkish news and all the stuff. So this okay. media industry is also related to so each other. I, I think by exchanging, world. by exchanging our cinema, by exchanging yeah. our culture, yeah. we will be more closer, closer to that yeah. as I we think. did. Like in, uh, yeah. in I think also the Turkish, like the air troll, as I know the yeah, Indian yeah. 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 Watch, yeah, the yeah. even yeah. Sultan Suleiman. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, uh, there the are Fetish so many. Sultan, we have yeah. the largest so number of uh, uh, consumers. It's good for Turkish cinema also, you know, because we know there are so many series like Ashlaftan and Lamas. There are so many series. Man, you are Indian Fatima and Indian people like are very romantic. Many, yeah, yeah. Indian they, people they are love okay. romantic series. That's really great discussion. I really yeah, uh, so appreciate Thanks your so discussion. And uh, one deep thing, discussion uh, you talk on. One thing, one, one, mm -hmm. five seconds. I just want to end that. You know, within the limited time given to us, it's very hard, hard to explain, explain India. India. You know, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I would and even uh, the relations yeah. of uh, yeah, like our so, uh, yeah. Africa, our yeah. Turkey, yeah. and yeah. all yeah. other South countries, East, yeah. Central really Asia, Asia, yeah. Europe. Yeah, it's really. So, I mean, it, yeah. of course, it's really vast yeah. area, so, and we will make a more program yeah, if, on if Indians. Yeah. So those yeah. kind yeah. of yeah. policy. Should, Africa is always in our heart. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, even we are all uh, every time we are welcome and even to, it, it's not about Africa right. it's about all over the world all we the are world. the one who accept everyone like we, we are, are the most tolerant people in the world we relate to each other like 
in every way. Yeah. So yes. thank you so thank you so much for your fantastic and the gorgeous discussion. Thanks for inviting us. For inviting us. India's uh, fact that's what is really ongoing and try to tell to the our audience like of the history yeah, about the Indian civilization, Indian cinema, India's movies, Bollywood industry, and the uh, economic fact of India, how India is rising. It's really great discussion. I really thank you so much, and I thank believe you. that our audience also will like this discussion and they will learn different things actually mm -hmm. because the what we of course that's what when when we try to know about India we try to see this Indians uh, yeah. like conflict, violence, or those mm. kinds. Of, we try to avoid those kind of stuff. We try to focus on the actually what India has uh, tried to tremendous activities that shows the India's achievement. And yes. that's why we discuss this. And if that's, there is a lot of things to talk on violence, to talk yeah. on conflict, to talk on in the bad side of one country. But the yeah. why India is India, why India or yeah. one country is one country, come to the world politics, come to the rising power because of their good side, not for bad side. And that's what we try to discuss. And you guys and you are uh, the guest of our program tell fantastically about those things. Thank you so much. Thank I you hope so we uh, told uh, like we did our best because <laughs> yeah. at, the, yeah. the, at the given time it's really hard. Like yeah. even though. Uh, it's really hard to uh, take points and to connect dots, mm -hmm. uh, dots in order to explore more yeah, about yeah, India. Yeah, so you'll have to the relations. programs on so India. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you, uh, so our audiences, our viewers from Africa and around the world to watch our episode on uh, natural civilization on the India, the rising power you know, from the Asia to the world. Uh, thank you so much to be with us and for our next episode in Natural Civilization at Natural TV. Thank you.